and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another natural hair video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my wash and go. So if you're interested in this video, then just keep on watching. Okay everyone, so I just finished co-washing my hair. And what I used to co-wash my hair was this, this conditioner right here. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. Um, it has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. And it's to soften, nourish, natural, chemically processed, or heat styled hair. So if you're natural, you can use this. If you're relaxed, you can use this. It's just a well-rounded product. What I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go in, because my hair has dried a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with this, um, bottle of spray bottle of just water only and I'm gonna go and wet my hair some more. I'm gonna go in there. I want it like almost drenched wet. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a side part or a middle part. I don't know. I did a middle part the other day. I may do another middle part because I don't think you guys have ever seen my hair in a middle part. So I think I might do a middle part. It's like my hair is like soaking up all this water. It's crazy. Okay, so now that I have my hair nice and wet, I'm going to, um, I am going to go in with some leave-in conditioner first and I don't know why I do this, but I like to use the spray in leave conditioner first, and then I like to go in with another leave in conditioner. So, for the spray leave in conditioner, um, I'm just going to be using this conditioner here. Uh, this is the Talia Wajid um, daily leave in conditioner. I picked this up from Sally, so I'm just going to spray, spray my hair all over with this spray 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 okay now after that I'm going to go in with um this Cantu Argan Oil Leave in Conditioner and I swear by this product I love this product this is like my third third container so I go in starting with this much, but I use a lot of this stuff, honestly. No dime size amounts over here, honey. We use a lot. And I just start working on, <clears throat> I don't do like a whole lot of sections just because I'm lazy and I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it. I actually have a nail appointment that I'm getting ready for. So I'm just gonna do my the left side of my head and then the right side of my head. That's what I'm doing. But I just go in, I go in with a lot of this product. And you can call this a quick wash and go. This is like like when you get up in the morning and you're trying to rush to work, but you know you need to wash your hair because it's dried out. <laughs> this is what you can do. It's real quick. It doesn't take long at all. And make sure you get like up here and like on your edges and stuff. And just put a lot of that product on. Okay. Now that I have this, 
I'm just gonna leave it like there for a second and I'm gonna move on over here to this side and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So, yes. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Oh, 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 oh. Girl, you should wear a name tag. So I make sure that I distribute a good amount of product on my end to make those curls pop towards the end of my hair. I'm just gonna go back on this side and focus. <coughs> excuse me. Focus on those ends over here as well. has a really it has a nice hold nice nice what the this gel has a nice hold but <clears throat> it's not it doesn't leave your hair crunchy it's like a soft hold so I'm gonna go in starting with about this much and what I like to do is I like to kind of start here up here and then work my way down so I'm like starting up here to kind of give this like a nice little sleek kind of a look so I won't have like a lot of like frizzies up there and then I um, move my way down so don't be afraid to get a lot of product on your hands <laughs> so I'm just going in and this uh, gel has like a nice little slip to it so it's like it kind of like glides in your hair just glides right through your hair so I love that about this gel and I use this gel when I want like a nice um, <clears throat> soft hole and I don't want like that crunchy kind of um, feel to my hair after my hair dries then I use this but if I want something that, like a wash and go that I want to like last like, you know, at least a week or so, then I use the Eco Styler um, Olive Oil, the green one. I use that. And again, make sure that you apply this product to your ends because it's going to make those curls pop. That's the key. Focus on your ends. Do not forget about your ends because that's important. Okay. Now that I'm done with this side, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to start on this side.
And like, if you wanted to, you can kind of like scrunch it up a little bit like this. Just to, you know, define those curls even more. You can kind of like scrunch your hair up like this. But do you see how defined those freaking um, curls are? Look how defined that is. Just imagine what it's going to look like once the hair dries. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Let me zoom in. But you see that? See how defined those curls are? Look at that. <laughs> but yeah so this is pretty much my wash and go routine um i'm going to be back a little later today or like when i leave the nail shop by then my hair will be dry so you can really see the full effect of it you can really see the full effect of it but this is what it looks like right now and let me turn around so you guys can see the back and after you're done styling your wash and go, you don't want to keep putting your hand in your hair, in your hair, because you don't want that to cause freeziness later on when your hair dries. So once you have the desired like amount of product and the desired desired style that you want, leave it alone, let it dry. In the drying process, don't be trying to put your hands on in your hair. Leave it alone, let it do its thing, and I promise you those curls will stay okay so i will be back later um in a couple of more hours i will be back to show you guys the final look all right okay guys so i am back it's been about five hours later and i just wanted to come back on here and show you guys what the hair is with the hair <laughs> what my hair my hair is looking like um it is fully dry and as you can see, let me zoom in. Okay. Let me zoom in to show you guys what it looks like. Like you see all of that definition. Look how defined those curls are. And you see what I was talking about with um the ends of the hair there's absolutely no frizziness and you see how much those look how much this curl look look at that look at that look at those ends and just look at the hair the hair why do i keep saying the hair <sighs> my hair <laughs> just look now the only thing i hate about being natural is i have so much shrinkage so when you get to this point you can like probably separate you know clump out um clump out some of the curls because they tend to like be clumped up so you can like kind of run your fingers through that if you want to to like give your hair a little bit of fullness maybe you can go in with like a pick or something and like pick out the uh the roots of your hair whatever um but yeah i just want to come on here and show you guys to get that this final look so yeah this is um my new wash and go routine uh comment down below let me know what what product you guys use when if you're natural what product you use when you're doing a wash and go um let me know because i'm always buying new products and i'm always willing to try new things but anyway yeah that's it for this video until next time make sure you thumbs up this video comment down below if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye when i think about the way we used to be we